What's going on everyone? It's time to talk about a gothic horror film. Today we're going to be talking about Messiah of Evil. It was released April 23rd, 1973. And it was directed by, well, co-directed by Gloria Katz, which is the only film she actually helped direct. She's mainly a writer. And, um, yeah, it was also co-directed by, uh, Willard Hayek, who also did Haunted Howard the Duck. Best Defense, French Postures, and More American Graffiti he worked on. So, yeah. And this had a box off a budget of $1 million. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So, this is a gothic, like, vampire-ish type film. It's sort of like Night of the Living Dead, where you can't really tell if it's vampires or zombies. But this has some really good atmosphere in this movie. Um, a young girl, basically, um goes on a road trip to find her fam father at this weird um old town that no one really visits anymore and um yeah she basically just got out of like the nut house almost <laughs> or some hospital and then um yeah she goes there and she meets up with some swingers who she actually ends up crashing at their pad and uh weird things start happening in this town and they realize that it's really uh something odd and not Something's not quite right as uh, they go. They go to like the grocery store and stuff and everyone's just acting weird. They go down to the beach and people are just staring at them or out into the water at the moon and things like that. And these very dark, odd things happen. So she, the young girl decides to go out on her own and try to find her father at night and gets the ride and meets this weird, weird guy and basically learns to the fact that basically they're all like vampire zombie meat people <laughs> and uh yeah then the killing starts and it gets a little more crazy and wilder and weirder i really like the dark tone in this movie it's very interesting this movie's very 70s so um yeah be prepared for that it's a little slow at the beginning but once it picks up and everything just gets so strange and weird i love how dark and creepy most of the characters are and how well they uh, the atmosphere is put to film, and you can even feel it and feel the dark grittiness of the story as it moves along. And uh, yeah, there is some good, dark, disturbing scenes in it, and all, well, especially when they're like on her and just see people just like randomly staring at them, and that and it just makes it unnerving. Um, it is pretty slow, so some people might find that a little off. But, uh, this is one of the more interesting films I've checked out recently. Uh, um, yeah, I like the artsy film noir feel to it too. It has quite, uh, sort of like a artsy film sort of feel to it. So, definitely one of the more interesting styles of films from the 70s I've seen, um, and gives, it has a good eerie atmosphere, but doesn't do too much with it. Now, and then, well, more towards the end, it gets a little more crazy. But um, for the most part, it's just an odd, dark movie. Sort of a carnival of souls. It kind of just like has this foreboding, dark atmosphere to it that you can't shrug off. And then it ends with quite the interesting <laughs> twist, cliffhanger sort of ending to it, which makes it even more the oddity that it is. Because, um, yeah, it's just one of the more interesting dark movies to see. There's not, it's hard to explain this movie, and I liked it quite a bit. <laughs> so, I'm gonna give Messiah of Evil a three and a half out of five. I enjoyed it, I thought it was really good, <laughs> dark, the crazy dark atmosphere and stuff uh some of the old school like it's very sexualized in the first one which is weird but um yeah but once the, like, the more darker tones start coming into play and the weirdness kicks in it gives quite the odd discomforting vibe to it so yeah if it sounds like something you're interested in i'll either try to find the whole video or even or post a Sure, like I usually do down below, so you check that out. Also, link down below is my Instagram. That's where I always post clips of films I'm going to review in the future. All my stories are the film time, hashtag subgenre, film and the hashtag, so you're aware of it. Um, 
Now, and my letterbox is down below at Terry P Reviews. That's where I post my first time reading after watching the films. Follow me on one of those two platforms down below the channel. Like this video, share it so more people are aware of it. Comment your opinions of the film down below if you have any. Also, if you have any films or film franchises in any genre that you want to hear my opinions on in the future, comment those down below too. I'll try my to them as soon as I can and if I can find them. And, um, yeah, make sure you subscribe because hopefully we'll find something weird, obscure, and odd that you probably down the South Trek Net, somewhat like this. Well, I so you hear my opinions on popular films coming out, classic films, and other weird stuff. So, make sure you subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell because we're going to be talking about more weird 70s crazy stuff. I think I might check out The Night Evelyn Came Out of the Grave. I heard that's really corny and cheesy and fun. So, I'm going to check out that one probably for my next review. And we'll see how that one turns out. Hopefully it's as good and weird like this one. I actually really enjoyed this one. And you can find it on Shudder now too. It's on Shudder so you can check it out there if you want. Um, but yeah. But that's it for this one. So watch out for all, the, for all those crazy weird town folk out there. And I guess I'll see you all in the next review. So until then, cheers.